to find the information uh, on the general ledger, um, it's found actually under the, the Work Centre general, general ledger. And then you can see here that we've got the general ledger accounts here. This navigates me to this. This will list all my general ledger accounts. The general ledger account um, is, uh, is classified in certain ways. So therefore, postings will either appear on the balance sheet or profits and loss account. OK, um, as you can see here, we can see all our GL accounts listed here and all the balances in here. One thing to bear in mind about SAP Business by Design is that 95 to 99% to of all journal, uh, all journal entries will be posted automatically depending on the transaction that, the, that you're operationally doing. So, for example, if you're doing sales, you're doing purchasing, etc. So the, so the majority of journal entries which post to GL accounts will be automatic. However, that last 1%, there is the ability to do uh, journal, manual journal entries if needed, but that should not um, be the majority of the time. To create a new general ledger or new nominal code, we navigate to edit and we edit the chart of accounts because all general ledger accounts are part of the uh, chart of accounts. And what we hear, depending on how many charts of accounts you have, you can then maintain and amend the general the general ledger accounts or the nominal accounts in here. If we wanted to create a new one, we can either add a row and give it a, a new number um, and give it a description. Or, and what we recommend uh, that, that you do, is we can take an existing nominal code, copy that, Give it a unique code in line with the groupings and it's already had the uh, uh, the account classifications and this one's an asset and give it a, a unique name that's all we have to do to create a new nominal we can also see where these uh, nominal codes gl accounts are, are actually being used in the system so even though we can create nominal codes easy, there is a certain other there are other parts of the solution that need to be considered. You know, and and that is all part of the setup of the chart of accounts, the set of uh, the set of books, and the financial structures that that have a your balance sheet and your and your profit and loss accounts. And an example of this, if we wanted to see whereabouts uh, some of these nominal codes are being used, if we took buildings for example clicked on where used that will show me that it's part of the balance sheet and also part of the cash flow and also in the account determination part it's part of the fixed assets historical costs like I said before the journal postings that post to the GL accounts are 99% of the time automatic to show you how this works if I navigate back to the General Ledger Work Centre and look at journal entries. I can see some of today's postings. You can see there's a posting here of an expense settlement. So this is from an expenses uh, expenses report. We can see that there's been a posting from one source document into two sets of books, the UK GAP and IFRS. And below that, we can see the postings that have happened. So um, the control account from the employee the, ex the expenses from the from the lodgings from the hotel rooms have been put in against here and also calculated the tax. If you wanted to investigate this, I can look at the source document, drill it here. That takes me to the actual expense report that has been um, submitted. And I can see particularly here the expenses that have been submitted. And also under document flow, I see how all these have been reflected, including drilling down. I can see the journal entry back to the journal entry. So we can see right from the initial uh, journal postings, we can navigate to the operational document and then again, navigate back to the to the postings. So again, here we can see the, the navigation back to the journal entry. And that is all from the journal entry posting.
if you do need to actually post a manual journal, say for example for salaries, etc., or you're clearing up certain accounts at the at the period end or year end, etc., you can do manual uh, journal entries. And to do this, we navigate to uh, journal entries. And if we look at a, a, a manual journal that's already been been posted. So we look at these postal journal entry vouchers here, which is scrolled down to journal entry voucher 747, which is for uh, November's wages. If we edit this, what we see as part of the journal entry creation is the company, the set of books, uh, that it's a journal entry voucher that's going to the manual journal entry voucher. Then here we've got the debits, the cost centers that it's sourced to and the credits. And therefore, then you can see the actual transaction itself. And if we wanted to reverse this uh, this journal, we can reverse it. So we'd normally, if we're doing a manual journal entry, would fill all these attributes in, click on post, and that would then debit one account, credit another account, etc. However, if we need to adjust this, we can actually reverse this by clicking the reverse button as well. So I hope that uh, shows you how simple the, the general ledger is. So the general ledger is a set of nominal accounts, which is part of your chart of accounts. And your chart of accounts can have financial structures, which represent your balance sheet, profit and loss, etc. And you can quite easily create a, a new nominal code slash GL account. Make sure the account determination is in place so, so the system knows how to post. And then through the operational transactions, such as expenses, supplier invoicing, purchasing, etc., automatically the the journals are posted into via a journal entry all the journals are associated with the uh, with the processes in place and you then can do manual journals such as salary uh, journals etc uh, as and when you need